Just a quickie video here to show you uh, the latest transformer that I built for the NFED half wave. This is a 240-43 uh, mix, three stack cores. Um, instead of using the twisted type primary, I'm using the uh, tapped type that uh, re recently came out of a conversation on uh, on uh, Facebook. But uh, all it is is uh, a total of 14 turns. So there's seven here, seven over here, and uh, you do count the crossover as a turn. And then on the um, second turn, we put a tap, and that's what goes to the center of our coax. And then of course the beginning of the first turn is your ground. I've got a 3K dummy load uh, connected to the secondary, and um, we have... Um, 7032 here, 40 meters, and our SWR is 1.1. Very good. Okay. Now, that's the easiest way to build these things. There's no need to twist the, uh, the windings uh, that I have found, and this works just fine. And something else I learned during a hard rain last night, I had this hanging on my antenna, and um, I noticed that during the rain, the SWR did not change even while running 500 watts. So uh, to prove that, I hope, I've got a spray bottle of some water here and we're going to watch the SWR, watch the left hand meter as I spray uh, water on it. So now it is wet uh, 1.1. Spray a little more i spray it all the way around here as best I can anyway. 1.1. So, <laughs> it is, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, it is sopping wet. And our meter has gone to sleep, so we've got to boot her back up. Okay. It shows it went up to 1.2. I don't know, maybe that's because I bumped it or something. But uh, it's really soaked. Uh, one thing, I, I used uh, friction tape uh, here, and that absorbs water, so I don't recommend that. I'd use vinyl tape. Uh, matter of fact, I think it'd be a good idea to wrap the entire thing with uh, some kind of vinyl tape, something that doesn't absorb any water. Uh, if you mount it in a box, uh, you don't have to worry about it being super watertight. As a matter of fact, you should have big holes in the bottom so it can drain and maybe a few vent holes around to uh, let any uh, hot air out when you run QRO power on 80 meters. So there you go. Um, I think that's a pretty good demonstration of what happens when your in-fed half-wave transformer gets wet. 73.